Oh, oh, good lord, is that his wife? <gasps> oh no, is that his wife? Hey everybody, I'm Ezzy and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. We are back with the Lunar Zodiac Challenge. It's Neighborhood Brawl Day. Do you see this up here? It is Neighborhood Brawl Day. That means everyone's gonna be Kung Fu fighting out on the street, in the house, in the yard, at the shops, you name it. There's gonna be people fighting. It's gonna be awesome. And I think we're gonna participate. <laughs> Everyone, oh, the kids. Really? I really feel like the kids should be allowed to do this. Oh man, that's how I, look it. It's no, no secret at all that Brianna's like all into this. She's like, hell, I'm gonna beat somebody's butt today. You watch. Okay, so. Um, what are we going to do today? We are going to hook, uh, what our girl up here on Simda. So I downloaded the Simda dating app. So let's just jump straight into that. It's 7.30 on a Saturday morning. She's cooking breakfast. She's, you know, feeling a little bit, a little bit out of sorts, a little bit sad from the whole, uh, thing with Megan not panning out and, you know, her decision to sort of move on from Megan, I guess. And our bathtub needs replacing. So let's just replace that. You know, so she decided to download the Simda app and see where that takes her. Um, hopefully she'll find true love. I don't know. I don't, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Hopefully she will. And, you know, things will, her, her life will go a little bit more smoothly. You know, she, um, she, she's ready for love in her life. And, uh, you know, she really wants to find somebody to settle down with. So, and she doesn't want children. So she's really hoping that, you know, her girlfriend, future girlfriend also will not want children. All right. So Bianca says she got into a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful. I said it was the Arcticorn, but he kept saying Swinter, Swinter. Which one is it? Well, I think they're both equally powerful. Although I don't really know because I don't play the game, but I'm just guessing they're probably both equally powerful in their own strengths and whatnot. Okay, so it looks like all the little kids are up and about. Zoe is starving, so she's going to have some Capri salad for breakfast, never mind the fact that there is some delicious, delicious uh, French toast over here. Oh, but Adele has reached parenting level three somehow. She can help kids solve their basic motives like bladder hygiene and fun. And she can also give parenting tips to other parents. I think that's amazing given the fact that she's not actually a parent. Oh, and Zoe's not happy with the Capri salad. She said, oh, that's gross. Well, no one told you to eat it, child. There's beautiful, you know, why can't I remember what this is? French toast right there. And you chose not to eat it. So it's pretty much your own fault. Uh, Bianca's feeling really grungy with life. Why? Because of this. That's why. Um, Brown is over here sleeping. How are we doing? You know what? You know what? You no, 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 no. Disable dishwashing. You stop coming. But since you're in here, you can come and wake your sister up. Maybe you can't. Hang on. Can you wake her up? No, you can't really wake her up. Really? Oh, there we go. She's gonna be like, wake up, Brianna. I'm, uh, I got Simda and I want your opinion on it. I want to know what you think of it. I need to talk to you. I need to have some quality sister bonding time. Okay, here we go. So, uh, we could do a specific date if we wanted to, we're looking for someone special, some, something serious, then this might be the right choice or, and I have never done this. So I really think that I want to do this. Let's do a female blind date. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and do that. See what we get out of it. Oh my God. Brianna's like busting. Come on. Get in there and pee. Oh, this is our blind date. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, where are we going to go? Let's go down to the greenhouse cafe. It's breakfast time. You know, we'll, we'll just go down there. That might be like the best place to go. It seems very unassuming, right? A cafe, is, it's very unassuming. It's very casual. We want to meet up in a very casual location. Oh, wow. And she even got all dressed up. Who is this? Mackenzie? Well, let's get inside real quick. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Let's get inside very quickly. I mean, she's got a look about her, doesn't she? I mean, she's got a look. She's kind of pretty. Uh, let's give her a friendly introduction. Kiss my date. I don't, I mean, I, we just, I don't know if I want to do this. We just, we just met her. I mean, that seems a little forward, but um, anyways, let's <laughs> fight her. Let's uh, complain about freezing temps because my God, it is so cold. Um, what else can we do? I want to get to know her a little bit. So let's find out. Let's just find out what she's about. I guess we'll ask her about her day. We should definitely find out what she does for work. Cause I don't, you know, Adele is not the sort of girl who is interested in being the main breadwinner of the family. She wants somebody who is her equal and who is going to, you know, make money as well. She does definitely does not want to be the main breadwinner. So she, she can't be with somebody who doesn't work and doesn't want to work. So that's, an important, like that's a deal breaker for her. And Mackenzie's unemployed. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? We're not going to, we're not going to, 
disregard the date straight away. Um, we're just, we'll, we'll keep on with it. I mean, there's no harm in making a new friend, right? Um, hi, third wheel much, Justine, bugger off, sit down and have a chat with Mackenzie, even though it's probably not going to go somewhere. Although she could just, she could be a new young adult, so she may not have a job yet. Uh, so we're just going to talk a little bit about cooking because, you know, she is a cook and she loves it. And, you know, maybe, maybe Mackenzie likes cooks too. Who knows? We'll discuss world peace a little bit. Uh, we'll tell her a dramatic story and let's joke with our date. Okay. We'll tell her a joke about politicians, see what she thinks about that. We've already got a goal date, so that's good. We don't have to kiss her. Um, and obviously, well, I was gonna say, obviously she's going to be single, but maybe not. So maybe we should ask her if she is single just to be sure. Like we, we, I mean, we don't want to get halfway or all the way through this date, find out that we do kind of like her and then, oh no, she's, you know, married. So we definitely want to find out if she is single. So let's definitely find that out. I mean, it's going pretty well. They're having a very pleasant conversation, you know, I know Adele's telling her all of these interesting anecdotes about things that happen at work. Octavia Bailey. What are you? Please feel free. What the hell? She's like, I'm going to impress you guys with my celebrity. No, 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 no. You're bringing unwanted attention. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> Dirk Dreamer is an elder? No. Guys, no. <gasps> he's an elder. Guys, he's an elder. I'm heartbroken. Oh, my God. I mean, can he still have, he can still have babies, right? He's, st he's still, I, I know elders can still make babies. Oh my God. What are you all doing? Who's sitting here? Who? Octavia, can you not stand right? You're like cramping my, this is the worst date ever. This is like, she's cramping my freaking date. But at least Mackenzie's single. Oh, she's leaving. She, she's like, I can't take this. This is too much for me. It's, it's too much. I need to go now. No, she's going to come over here and fangirl about elderly Dirk Dreamer. He's like, oh, buzz off. <laughs> He's literally like, I'm not interested. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I'm old and crotchety now. Buzz off. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> That's all right. Del's like, how screwed. I'm just going to watch sports on my tablet. <laughs> this date's over. <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? We're, we're ending early. It's, it's fine. It's completely fine. Let's, um, let's go home. Wow. I'm... <laughs> I cannot believe I can. Where's all of our snow? It was snowing so badly like a minute ago in the last episode. It was like, I think even this morning when we left, wasn't it snowing? <laughs> it just melted overnight. It's just gone. <laughs> I mean, okay then. If you say so, I believe ya. I believe ya. But oh my God, I cannot believe that Dirk Dreamer is an elder. Guys, he's an elder. Like what the heck? Um, all right, let's fight our sister because she really likes that anyway. And, you know, she's feeling a bit, um, Adele's feeling a little bit punchy right now because her date, you, you know, her and Mackenzie would probably be better friends. Honestly, they'd probably be better friends than anything, especially for the fact that Mackenzie is unemployed. And, you know, that's, that's not what Adele's about. She needs to find somebody who is on equal ground with her. So she's going to keep trying. She's definitely going to keep trying. Who won this fight? Who won this fight? Oh my gosh, Brianna won. All right, Phoebe's getting a phone call. He says, hey, Phoebe, it's Barrett. Do you want to hang out tonight? Oh my God, Barrett? Yeah. Oh, but wait, you said tonight. It's not tonight yet. It's still today. But okay, I guess he couldn't wait till tonight. So here we are. <laughs> here we are. Um, all right, let's let's be friendly with him. Let's ask him about his day, see how he's going. I can't, he's married, isn't he? He's probably married. I really wish if the Sims got married, they had a wedding ring on their fingers so that you knew without having to ask them. Let's just jump straight into a deep conversation. Let's uh, compliment his outfit. I mean, because he is looking fine. He's always been looking fine, though, honestly. Let's give him a heartfelt compliment as well. We'll share a little secret with him. Nothing too fancy, nothing too over the top. Just something to make him feel like, you know, I know a little bit more about Phoebe than probably anybody else does. Uh, we'll share our photos with him. Let's let's try him a picture of like our nine children. She doesn't have nine children. I don't think. Wait. I'm trying to be a smart ass and I might have just not been smart enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I was right. Yeah. Okay. So show him, let's show him pictures of our nine children. 
And uh, what else can we do? We'll tell them a joke about vampires because that's pretty funny. I wonder if we can flirt. We're, I'm not, you know what? We're just going to try. We're going to try and flirt with him because I feel like, you know, they'll probably make some pretty babies. I need to get on the ball about this whole Dirk Dreamer thing. Maybe we can, um, can we, can we invite Dirk out though? Like, are we good enough friends with him to invite him out? I don't know. Where is he? There's Dean. We still need to make babies with Dean because we didn't get any girls with him. Um, oh, their flirting's going on. Okay, yeah, we don't know Dirk enough to ask him out. That sucks. Oh, they're hugging. That's so sweet. What are you doing? Playing a game? Playing a game? You're there on like a date, not date. What are you doing? Is there anything they can do while they're here? Oh, they can do stuff in a shrub. They can quote unquote fertilize it. There's nothing to do here. Oh, let's come and open. open. Let's start this bonfire. We can do that together, hopefully. Partying with club friends. Oh, it was a club thing? Call him over to the bonfire. You guys can hang out together. Maybe you can roast marshmallows or something. I don't really know what you can do with the bonfire. I feel like I haven't even played this game. Like I'm going, I don't, uh, who are these people? Like, I don't know. Can I do this? Can I do that? I have no idea. Can we serenade him or something? All right. So unfortunately I had to kind of end that whole thing early because for whatever reason they were bugged and they couldn't do anything. No matter what I tried to get them to do, it just wasn't working. And okay. So we just got home and we've got a whole bunch of people who have aged up. So Danny, Dr the dream brothers have aged up. Orion Hope has aged up. This is crazy. Oh, there's a romance festival in town. <gasps> there's a romance festival. All right. We should go. Oh my gosh. No, Adele's at work. Oh, dang it. That would have been aces to take her to work. I mean, to take her down to the um, romance festival. That would have been like the best thing. Oh, that sucks. Why is Brianna so upset at work? She must be having a really bad day. Look at Zoe cleaning up. Oh, what a good girl. Do we not have a bin inside? I thought we had. Yeah, it's right there. Why do they have to? Why do they walk all the way out to the? Maybe they can't get to it because they don't ever use that. Is it in a wrong location? Is that like why no one's using it? Let's see if we can get this one. Maybe that one will work. Not sure. I don't know what was wrong with the other bin, but it didn't seem to be working. Uh, let's see if we can send the kids out to do something together. Let's see. Um, they can go. Let's send them bowling. The kids can all go out bowling together. That'll be awesome. They're going to have a great time. Okay. So I think since everyone's out of the house, really, and Phoebe's all on her own, maybe let's um, invite Dean over, shall we? We'll invite Dean over. All right, cool. Dean McCormick is on his way over. We are going to get busy with him today and hopefully um, she'll get pregnant straight away and um, we can move this along. Hopefully the next lot of babies or baby <laughs> will be a girl. Fingers crossed. All right. Come on, Dean. Those boys need to give us a girl. That's what we're looking for here is a girl. So let's. Oh, what is this? Oh, Brianna again. Brianna may simply be cheering the team on. No, 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 no. Not again, not again, not again. This is what happened the last time and she got fired. Oh my gosh. Brianna may simply be cheering the team on from the sidelines, but she takes the role of defending her team's honor very seriously. And would you believe it? The visiting team's cow mascot is dancing right in the center of the field, tugging on its udders in a show of disrespect. The only thing stopping Brianna from rushing the field and starting a fight is knowing that the stands are packed with innocent children who are just there to enjoy the game. Will Brianna set an example or set the right example? Yeah. Okay. So she'll gain fame if we fight the mascot, which is what we did last time. And we lost rep money and she got fired. So I think this time we're just going to ignore the mascot and maybe we can sabotage the mascot later on down the track. So Brianna really just, she's focusing on her future right now and she can't, she can't be silly. She can't just go and get herself fired from her job, you know? So Adele's boss has offered her the chance for extra training. What she, she should definitely take the training. Definitely. And she got a performance game gain of medium. So that was definitely the right choice. All right. So let's uh, do a little bit of flirting with Dean because we're not really there to be friendly where he's here for one reason and one reason only let's blow him a kiss. We need to get him into the bedroom. The kids are going to be home like any minute. So let's, let's see if we can just jump in there, actually try for baby. I don't think we even need to go through this whole flirting business. I mean, their pink is pretty high, so let's see. <laughs> maybe he's feeling pretty, he is feeling horny. Excellent. It's going to work out. All right, cool. Oh no, maybe it doesn't. Oh yes. 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 All right. Excellent. Cool. Uh, Holly Hannon. No, honey. I'm no busy at the moment. Busy. Maybe later. All right, cool. It's not going to be all fancy like it was the first time. But, uh, you know, he's getting the job done and we appreciate that. We can stand a guy who gets the job done. All right, cool. So we have the ley line trait has a chance of twins that came up. 
Let's go ahead and not take a pregnancy test in that toilet. Let's go and take a pregnancy test and see where we are at. I'm so glad the kids haven't come home yet. How embarrassing. And we are pregnant. All right, cool. We are pregnant. She's going to go tell him again. She's like, if I have boys, they're coming back to your place. By the way, how are my sons doing? And he's like, oh, they're fine. Thanks. Thanks so much. All right, let's ask him to leave. <laughs> he's clapping. <laughs> he's clapping. He's <laughs> like, he's a proud dad. He's like, I'm going to have more babies. Baby, I'm going to have, wow, that's getting pretty close there. It's no concept of personal space. Wow, they've only just acquired their bowling skills. Must have taken them a bit of time to get down there, but yay. All right, cool. So they're all getting their bowling skill going. That's awesome. Uh, Zoe has returned home. Oh, okay. Just in time, just in time for Dean to leave. He's like, she's like, quick, get out. My kids are home. Oh, oh, okay. So Brianna, let's see. Select a branch for Brianna Dream. Oh, what are we going to have her do? Professional athlete gives her more money. Are you a physical specimen with the motor, ambition, and natural talent to compete with the best? Want to earn a living playing playing a game that you played as a child? Then a career as a professional athlete is for you. Live the lifestyle and entertain the masses with your athletic ability. I don't know if I want her to be an athlete, though. Uh, a bodybuilder. As a master of muscle, you will partake in life of fitness, nutrition, and weight training. Train fellow Sims. Show off feats of strength. Oh, definitely train fellow Sims because I wanted her to be up. She she was she had dreams of becoming a personal trainer. So definitely, we're going to be a bodybuilder. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So. Uh, we need to increase her fitness skill, mentor fitness. That's interesting. She can do that for her mom. And all right, let's see what we got here. I just need to pause for a second. So she got 218 from her career pay, but she did not get her bonus. So we're going to need to put her bonus of 275 simoleons into her bank account. Sim National Bank. Main account. Deposit. Uh, send money from this account to another sim. We want to send it to, oh, the amount we're going to send, what was it? 275, 275 simoleons to, uh, oh, I need to be on a different sim. All right, hold on. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Can we just deposit money? No. Transfer money from your household funds to your main account. Oh yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. All right, so 275 simoleons. Yes. Banking summary for Brianna Dream, direct deposit custom, Brianna. Okay, so yeah, it looks like she did get that 275 simoleons. All right, sweet. That's excellent. Um, why is she so sad? I'm going to be a terrible parent. No, you won't. You'll be fine. Don't stress. Uh, she is pretty tired, though. Um, she needs to have a shower so she can come over to her little apartment and have a shower. I kind of want to invite Orange over actually and work on that relationship a little bit. I'm also feeling a little bit salty that he hasn't rang her, you know, like I feel like she really should be really Phoebe, you've got like so much room over here. Good Lord. Right. I'm going to need to get that door locking mod. This is ridiculous. How's how in the world is Brianna supposed to invite over Orange when her mum is wait, what? She's pregnant. <laughs> She's pregnant from whiskey, Risky Woohoo, which is a 20% chance. Holy crap. Uh, okay. I'm like, no, <gasps> no. That means she has a chance of having twins. Oh my God. No. And Phoebe's, pre oh my God. Oh my God. I need a computer in this place. Like I need a computer in this place because I need to, oh my God. I'm shoot shoot all right hold on hold on all right i needed to get a computer in here and we i need to check these settings this is crazy pregnancy no it's under woohoo i think risky woohoo 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 reactions woohoo pregnancy yeah risky woohoo percent is 20 percent oh oh my god okay all right um think so okay i need to increase the lot size Maximum household size is set to nine. If Phoebe keeps going, she's going to have twins again. So that'll be two, four, six. That'll be eight. And if we go with the assumption that Brianna will have twins, that'll be more. So I'm just going to set that to 12. Holy crap. Wow. All right. I cannot believe she's bloody pregnant. All right, so note to self. Ha, 
let's not do the risky woohoo anymore. We're just going to not do woohoo. No, we can't not do woohoo. That's silly. Um, 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 I don't know what to do about this. I truly don't know what to do about this. If, if we, because I can't, she's not, allowed, by the challenge rules, she's not allowed to leave the house until she maxes out her fitness skill. And, um, oh my God, she's freaking pregnant. You dudes like she's her and her mom are pregnant. Oh my God. All right. Well, you, you know what? I, I'm, I'm shocked <laughs> and flabbergasted and I'm, like so many things have happened in this game already. Oh my God. Dirk is an elder. Brianna's pregnant with Orange's kid. Kids, most likely. I, I literally need a minute. I need a glass of wine and a minute and some time to process. That's what I need. <sighs> okay. Okay. So what trimester are we in? Phoebe is in, she's in her first trimester. That's fine. So they're both in their first trimester. Great. So that means they're both going to have, oh my God, they're both going to have their babies around the same time. Adele's getting a phone call uh, from, oh, what's his name? I can't remember. He says, anyway, let's get together and howl like wolves karaoke right now. Yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, Adele just, she, she would, she could really stand to get out and cut loose. You know what I mean? And plus, if she's going out to a karaoke bar, maybe she'll have the chance at finding uh, somebody anyway, you know? She just stopped and grabbed herself a Red Bull. We'll increase that energy. And the, the, the romance festival is still going. <gasps> oh, where's the romance guru? Is that you? No, that's Dean. Oh, Dean's down at the romance festival. Where's the romance guru though? Pause. Where is the romance guru? Because I need to go chat with her. There she is. Excuse me, him. There he is. Let's, um, let's ask about our romantic destiny. Run, 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 my girl. Run, run, run. We need to find out. Are, are, is it, does it look good or is it bleak? He's like, hey, how you doing? He, this is Joey Tribbiani right here. She's like, please, love guru, please tell me what my, my destiny is. I need to know. Am I going to be single my whole life or will I find the perfect girl for me? Is that who she's thinking? Is that who he's the Wait, he said you are sure to find your destiny soon. He was just thinking about, he was just thinking about Dean. Was he not? Wasn't that Dean? Because Dean was just dancing. Where the hell is he? There he is. This is Dean. Oh, <laughs> but no, we're not going to hit on our mum's booty call. Who are you? She's quite pretty. Olga, oh, but she's an adult. She's an adult. I don't want to be hitting on an adult. There's Mari Stockton. She's an adult. Uh, let's grab some security. Um, she can do that with Jimmy, actually, unless he's disappeared. I'm not really sure. Oh, who's this? She's a young adult, Carly McCormick. Oh, I bet you anything she's Dean's kid. Maybe we could fix her up and ask her out. She desperately looks like she needs to be up, fixed up. Who are, who are these guys? Oh, who's this? Romeo Clay and Shane Carmona. Oh, <laughs> they look like they're having such a great time together. I'm oh, good on you, dudes. I hope you're happy for a really long time. Where did that chick go? Where is she? Oh, she's over here. Okay, let's uh, let's let's go and say hello. Let's give her a funny introduction. And we're feeling pretty flirty. Things could hopefully go. Oh, who is this pretty girl? Is she a young adult? No, she's an actual adult. Alice Hannon. This is um, Orange's wife. My gosh, Madeline Bailey Moon. Wow. Okay probably don't want to befriend her although how funny would that be <laughs> that would be super funny let's mention the flirty festival vibe and not why why can you not describe flirty dream about carly no uh throw petals joke about getting together <laughs> see how she sort of takes it maybe she's receptive who knows she's obviously here for a reason let's see if she's into girls oh my gosh why are you so mad Oh, oh, good Lord. Is that his wife? <gasps> oh, no. Is that his wife? I thought that was his daughter. Oh, my. What is wrong with me? All right. Hold on. Let's 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 ask her if she's single. Let's ask her if she's single. Hold on, because I'm jumping to all kinds of conclusions. That's the only reason he would be mad, right? It's because he's married to her. Is that right? Oh, good. Yep. Yep. She's married to Dean. OK, perfect. All right. Let's just let's just be friends. Let's just be friends. We're not going to really follow in our mom's footsteps. Like I have decided that she does not really want to follow in her mom's footsteps. Can we just ask to be friends? All right. No, it's not here. So we're just going to stop talking to her and we're going to pretend that that didn't happen and come over here to Jimmy 
and um, uh, let's call him over. Actually, we need <laughs> we need to run to our backup because oh god, how embarrassing! Like I had no idea. <gasps> oh, how embarrassing was that? So let's mention the flirty festival vibe. We'll see how she goes with Jimmy. Maybe I don't know. I'm, I would really just rather find her a girl, to be honest. Like because I really just feel like that's the way she goes. You know, she she's not she's never really shown any interest in this Jimmy guy at all. So he's only ever been her friend. So I feel like to do anything else would be sort of like wrong. You know what I mean? It'd be like kind of forcing something because she's feeling desperate. You know what? Let's uh, let's cancel this out. We're going to end the er date early. And it's not really even a date, but we're going to end it early. Let's check over here and see at the karaoke bar if there's any women handy. Oh, we've got Huda Shimizu, but I think she's married. She's pregnant, so she's obviously married. Um, all right, let's just check our Simda app, actually. Let's see if we can find somebody uh, on our Simda dating app that we might be able to... Uh, go and chat with and um, maybe have dinner with or something. Let's, let's try that. I'm just going to cancel all of these flirty interactions with Jimmy because it's just, it's, it, she's just not feeling it. And even though she's all flirty, it's from the drink. It's not because she really feels like it. You know what I mean? So let's do a female blind date. Actually, what I'm going to do is end the episode here because I didn't realize I was that far along into recording. So uh, the next episode, we're going to have Adele find herself another blind date and hopefully it will work out for the best. And maybe we'll work on some things with Orange and Brianna. I really want to work on getting him away from his wife. So maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll invite Orange over and see if we can, you know, butter him up and convince him to leave his wife for her because now she's pregnant, you know, she's probably going to have twins from it. So <sighs> I, we're probably going to have to do up her little granny flat. Uh, make a little area for the, the baby, babies, you know, and I really would like Orange to move in. So we're running out of room in the house. He's not going to be able to move in. Okay, I need to rethink that. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have a little bit of a busy time in the next couple of episodes. But anyway, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I need to know, especially about Brianna's pregnancy. Let me know. Okay, um, thank you very much for watching and I'll chat with you all in the next one. Bye, guys.